Hey everybody, this is Video Bob, and I'm here with another cool review. Uh, I've got another Marshall. Uh, now, I did a review just recently of this one, which is called the Acton. I thought it was called the Action, but Acton. A-C-T-O-N. The Acton. Now, this is a Bluetooth speaker made by Marshall, and I, in my previous video, I took it apart because I wanted to see what was inside there because there was speculation that they actually used tubes in there like old-fashioned Marshalls, they don't. It's just a little solid state amplifier. Uh, and, you know, I've come to realize after looking at Marshall stuff that it seems like everything that they build is a little bit of an afterthought. I think they come up with an idea and then they sit around and they go, hey, you know what would have been a great idea? We, uh, we should have made this portable because, like, this is cool, but people like to take their speakers with them. So they made this one. This one's called the Kilburn. I don't know if Kilburn is a guy who works there or whatever, what that name is. I, I haven't done the research on that. But this is their, their portable version. Now, you probably think that it's identical to this one. I mean, a smart man would, right? But it's just a hair smaller. Look at I have a Marshall stack. Look at this. I have a stack of Marshalls. So it, it's just like just a little bit not as wide, just a little bit not as long. Just a little bit not as tall. What is the point of that, Marshall? What are you doing? What are you doing from a design aspect? You know, I'm a, I'm a bit of an engineer. Just take this one and put a handle on it and a battery. Duh. Why? They were like, oh, that one's too big. But to completely redesign and make an entirely new box. And for what purpose? Now, here's the thing. They both have the same speakers. They have the same four inch speaker and the same two tweeters just crammed into a slightly smaller box. They have basically the same type of controls, except, you know, this one has a, a spot on it for, you know, that now says on it, um, battery, uh, and that's it. So now it says battery. So, oh, that's the whole thing about this. This one has a battery in it. On the bottom side, they've attached this little box, and, in, and, and I'm not gonna take this one apart on camera. I already took it apart. You just have to take my word for it as a subscriber. You just have to trust what I have to say. I took it apart. It's basically the exact same shit that's inside this model. You know, not exactly, but visually. But what they did was they just wallered out this area, put this little box in there, and there are three cells in here, um, which, uh, I would have to imagine each are four volts. So they're probably stacked. It's, pr it's probably three sets of three. Uh, anyway, it's a little battery package. It's not necessarily user serviceable. It's not a battery that you're ever gonna be able to change yourself or whatever because it's basically wired in. There's really no point in putting it in this little deal here because it's not something that you're going to be able to access, you're going to be working with. If you ever had to have it replaced, it would be just as easy to take the back off. Okay, but here's the major deal, though. Here's the, what are the differences between the two? This is not simply the battery-powered version of the Acton. Even though the Acton is only three decibels louder than the Kilborn, this one's 100 decibels, this one's 103, the Acton actually has twice the amplification power at 30 watts and then 10 watts per tweeter. This one has 15 watts for the subwoofer and five watts for the tweeter. Now, it still sounds great. It just doesn't sound as good as the Acton. The Acton, it's not about loud, it's about the full richness. You know, when you really put some power behind a speaker. So, and this thing is badass. Okay, believe it or not, I mostly use this for talk radio type stuff. Like when I, uh, uh, the reason I wanted the battery powered one is that we have four bathrooms in this house. And this house was built in 1960. And this bathroom that's in there does not have a single freaking AC plug in there. Not one. There's not one AC plug in that bathroom. Nowhere. Is that ridiculous or what? Right? So there's a plug in the, there's a vanity attached to it and it has a plug for like a hair dryer, but the light has to be on. So I like to go in there and take a bubble bath. 
Hey, I'll admit it. I like to take an hour-long Epsom salt bubble bath. I love it. It's awesome. And I have a waterproof iPhone 7. And I take my damn phone into the tub. Not like in the tub, but I set it on a little stand on the edge of the tub. And I like to watch like Netflix or YouTube or whatever. And I used to always take this in there with me. This is a little... Uh, uh, you, Ultimate Ears Boom, the UE Boom. And this thing's great. I've got a couple of these. Um, but it's just not as loud as I wanted. Just didn't have the richness and the sound I wanted. I had it for a couple of years. And I thought, you know what? I'd like to try something different. And uh, for Christmas, I put on my uh, wish list that I wanted one of these Marshalls. And then one of my good friends, my good friend Omar, bought me this one for Christmas. Bless his heart. Uh, but I didn't realize that when I put this one on my list. I think I put them both on there. I didn't realize this one wasn't battery powered. The Acton has to be plugged in, okay, with an AC power cord, okay, not a DC adapter. There's no way to try to put a battery in it. I took this thing apart and tried to figure out if there was a DC conversion in there that I could just tap into it because I'm such a, 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 a geek. I was going to put a battery in the son of a bitch, right? And the reason, I, like I said, the reason I wanted a battery one is I need a battery-powered Bluetooth that I can take in there when I take a bath. The other thing that's cool about this is I keep the my big acting one, I keep it upstairs in my bedroom on my dresser. I wake up and I'm brushing my teeth, I'm shaving, I'm getting ready. I'll, I'll watch, a, you know, a, a YouTube video or something, right? Usually about a 15-minute video or a 30-minute video. Um... You know, I like to watch like uh, like John Oliver's uh, Last Week Tonight or, or a show like that that where he does a rant and, it, and it's only about 15 or 20 minutes long. That's how people watch TV now. And I'll play that on this. So most of the stuff I'm listening to is talk, right? Um, and it sounds great. And then what happens is sometimes I'm, I'm finished getting ready, and but I still have video left. So I turn this off, I go downstairs, and then this one's waiting for me. And this is the one that I, I carried it I just just now. I carried it into the kitchen, set it down uh, on the counter, cooked my breakfast, still was watching the video, brought it in here with me, finished watching my video. See, look at me, I'm burping from my breakfast. The thing is great. Now, according to their website, retails for 300 bucks. Uh, but you know what? I picked this thing up on eBay, I think for 159 And they're about to get probably cheaper and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute so let's talk about the specs of this thing I'm on their website the Kilburn has a built-in rechargeable 2200 milliamp battery that uh, lasts for how long let's see 20 hours up to 20 hours now by the way I don't like the way that these guys list this bullshit when they say 20 hours they mean like on volume one with no bass kicking okay when you got the thing at full blast and you are pumping out, do not expect to get 20 hours. Not gonna happen. Love the guitar strap. I mean, it's literally a guitar strap. They put basically the same kind of uh, nut on here, or bolt or whatever that is, that you would have on a guitar. And this is basically a leather guitar strap. It's really well made. The, the red uh, soft cloth underneath it, I mean, it is a Marshall stack. Okay, it's not just a interpretation of a Marshall amp. It is a Marshall amp. I have almost 40 guitars upstairs. I have a Marshall 4x12 stack upstairs. This is the same fabric and piping and badge and knobs and th they make this is this is a Marshall. That's what's so cool about it. I was out in Las Vegas uh, last week. We went into this vintage guitar shop, and there they had one of the Marshall radios. Now, here's the thing. They make a whole bunch of these, and they're all different sizes. And there's really no point in having this many options when they're really pretty much the same. So this one is the only battery-powered one that they have, the Kilburn. You can get it in black or the cream color. They're just now coming out with one called the Kilburn Steel. And rather than gold accents, it's just chrome accents or brushed steel accents. That's cool, but I like the I like the gold. It, it's the whole point of this thing is that it it's harkens back to the vintage era, even though it's a new technology using lithium 
ion batteries and Bluetooth technology. You get the feel of like the real rock star shit from the 60s, man. And it's legit. When I take it apart, this thing's made out of wood and it's got real Marshall speakers in it. And it's a real Marshall amp and speaker. That's my point. All right, but let's talk about what Marshall's doing right now. You know, as of this recording, November 9th uh, of 2017, they're just coming out with what they're calling their multi-room speakers. Their multi-rooms will be linkable through Wi-Fi where it will solve that problem that I'm having now where you'd have a speaker up in your bedroom and then you put one in your bathroom and you put one in your kitchen and you can wander through the house and they're all playing what you're uh, playing on your phone wherever you go. Wish they'd have thought of that shit first. So these particular models, if you're in the market for buying one and you're just going to have the one, you're going to, like if you, let's say you have a store or you're going to put one in your bedroom or whatever, and you're not going to move it ever. It's going to stay in that one spot, then get the regular powered, uh, AC powered version, which come in a bunch of different ways. They have the, uh, they have this Acton. Uh, you don't really need the battery powered one unless you're going to carry it around with you. And this isn't something you really want to carry, carry with you. Like I wouldn't be going down the street with it or walk, you know, but but it is portable. So if you wanted to take it with you and like tailgate with it or whatever, you could. Um, however, I don't think it's that tough. I've what I mean is I've seen a few of these for sale that are used and they are beat to shit. They're all the time you see the badge broke off, the leather is all cut up. I mean, this thing is wrapped in vinyl. Okay, it's not. It's 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 made of cloth and wood and vinyl. It's not really meant to be tossed around in the back of your pickup truck. It's not a rugged waterproof. That it's, it's delicate. It's made for sitting on the table in a nice setting, indoors, okay? This is not an action speaker that for you take to the beach, right? This is for a nice, clean environment. Like, you've got a boutique, okay? You've got a guitar store, uh, or you're in your house or whatever, and, and you're a... Uh, music fan whatever and, and you like that old hipster vibe this is for you don't buy this and take it with you that's not gonna be a good idea this stuff's gonna cut I mean this is a soft vinyl yeah I could cut I could probably scratch this with my fingernail and then tear it you know it's delicate and that's fine I mean that's the way it is not everything's supposed to be a, a goddamn DeWalt tool that you this is don't use this for work you know, if you're a construction guy, this is not what you want to get. All right. Uh, going back to the ones you plug in, they have two other versions of this thing. And like I said, I've already done a review on it, but now I'm a bit of an expert on these. But, uh, now, there, there is another small portable battery-powered one called the Stockwell. Now, the Stockwell is a thin plastic version of the... Kilburn, right? It, when you look at the picture of it, you would never realize that it's just a little rinky-dink plastic thing. But it's got a plastic cover, not cloth. It's made of plastic, not vinyl. It's a little bit tougher. It actually is louder than you would expect it to be. It has a, a decibel rating on it of, uh, uh, let's see, what was it? It doesn't. It's of 90 decibels. I mean, clearly it's not as loud as one of these, and it's not going to have the bass response. Uh, because it's only a 10 watt amplifier and has two small two and a quarter inch uh, drivers, so it's just got two little speakers. So it's not going to be any different than that, like that little UE Boom I showed you. And it's, uh, but that one is made to be one you put in your backpack and you carry with you to school. It's a little bit more uh, child friendly, let's say. Okay, but let's go back to uh, uh, the other ones. Now they have another one that's called the Woburn. The Woburn is the big mamma jamma motherfucker. This thing is like like a big, it's huge, right? It's like this wide, it's like this tall. And that one, um, you know, it's expensive. It's like $600. And it also comes in cream or black. But dude, it's a 50 watt, 50 watt amplifier for the woofers. Has two 20 watt tweeters and I'm not sure how many speakers it has it doesn't say but it's huge 
and it's got a decibel rating of what? 110. It's the loudest out of meter, which is only 10 decibels louder than this one here, or, or actually not even 10. Uh, this one's 103. That one's 110. <clears throat> but this this is a 30 watt. That one's a 50 watt. So you can imagine uh, it's not a, what they figured out is they like, look, you really don't need it to be louder than an 110 decibel. That's loud. What you need is crisp clarity. Oh, I'm seeing the picture. That one has, I guess, two four inch. So whereas this one has one four inch speaker and two tweeters, the Wolverine has two and then uh, two tweeters. Now, that's pretty badass. I don't have one of those. I thought about getting one and I probably will get one. And I'll tell you why. I mentioned this a minute ago. Uh, before I get to that point, then there's another one that's called the uh, Stanmore. Now, the Stanmore, I haven't really figured out the real big difference. There's not really a reason to have the Stanmore other than it just has more inputs in it. Um, there's also an app that you can use with it, but it's it's got more inputs on it. I mean, it's it's a, oh, okay. Oh, now I see. So the Stanmore is very similar to this one. It's just a little bit bigger, and it's a 50 watt, but it's a 50 watt single speaker, 108 decibels. So actually, the Stanmore is actually a pretty nice unit to have, and it also has like optical inputs and stuff. I don't know, you know, why you would need all that. You could hook it up to your your home uh, stereo system. So okay, so here's a basic rundown. The biggest one is the Woburn 100. It's a 50 watt double speakers. The Stanmore is the slightly bigger one than this with a single speaker that's also 50 watt. Um, it's going to be nice and loud, but still not going to have the full richness stereo sound of the Woburn. Then you have the Acton. This one's the 30 watt model, a little bit smaller, a little bit cheaper. You figure the Woburn is like 600 bucks. The Stanmore is like 450. The Acton is, this thing gets really cheap. It's only 250. Then you get down to this thing and actually the battery powered one is like 300 um, retail uh, because it's battery powered now but here's the big news okay now if you're watching this recording and I'm sorry it's gone so long but if you're an audiophile fan and, and uh, I'm sorry we've, we're already 17 minutes into this but here's the deal uh, sign up for their Black Friday event which is coming up and if you're watching this video like a year later then I'm sure that this is all old news but the good news is you'll probably find a bunch of these used and refurbished all over eBay and probably even from Marshall um, because they're coming out with their new multi-room versions. And I think what they're going to do is they're probably going to start eliminating certain models that they feel that they don't really need to have. They're probably going to trim down the, uh, the ones that are out there. The multi-room ones, I noticed, are a little bit different. They don't have this uh, kind of cream-colored grill. They're black, which is fine with me, but I kind of like this vibe. I'm, di I'm digging it. Sorry, I'm shaking the thing. Anyway, the multi-room one, you'll be able to have uh, basically like, so like a Sonos system. You'll be able to link them together and have multiple versions. So I'll probably end up... Uh, replacing these because I, I really am sold on the Marshall stuff. I love it. I love it. I love when people come over, they love it. Uh, I love seeing it. I love the tactile buttons. I like that it's got a real, like a, look at toggle switch, right? Like that's a, that is, so, it's, I love it. Okay. So I'm probably in the near future going to buy prob maybe that Woolburn, that big mama jamma multi-room and maybe put that in my uh, bedroom. And then I'll get uh, maybe the Acton or the Stanmore other multi-rooms and I'll put them throughout the house. And that once you do that, you will be able to just wander through the house and you'll have, you'll I mean, see, I have a big house. I'm not bragging, but I've got a 6,000 square foot house, four bedrooms, four bathrooms. I've got a movie theater upstairs, hot tub room. Ooh, I want to put one in the hot tub room. Oh, that'd be great. Uh, and then I have a huge bedroom, a 25 by 25 bedroom. And then, you know, we have all these bathrooms and we have, you know, two of the bathrooms are stand-up showers and then two of them are actual tubs. And, uh, and then I have my office here and the kitchen. So I would love to be able to just wander through the house and have 
a instead of having to carry my little battery powered one around with me, which is cool, uh, but instead of carrying it around with me like a little lunch pail, uh, I'd be able to have them in multiple rooms. So check out Marshall's website. It's marshallheadphones.com. Uh, and they've got some just really cool shit. Like I said, they just came out with a new version of the Kilburn, which is this one. It's called the Steel model. So if you want the Chrome version, that's fine. But if any of the people, if any of the engineers from Marshall are watching, I just want to say as a, as an engineer myself, I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a licensed engineer. I'm what's called a non-engineer. That's what we used to call ourselves in the broadcast industry. I was a broadcast engineer. I used to run a television network called American Independent Network back in late 90s, early 2000s. I was their chief engineer, did all of the, uh, you know, ran their daily operations, satellite uplink. Uh, we built mobile production studio trucks and vans. Uh, we did audio video stuff. I invented a couple of things for the video industry. I was submitted for an engineering Emmy at the National Association of Broadcasters in uh, 2003 for building one of the first all digital mobile production video trucks out of a Sprinter van that, that actually utilized the New Tech Toaster 5. Developed a system with Marker Tech to convert uh, multi, uh, multi umbilical cord like 26 pin and 14 pin video cable into two cat five uh, encoder decoder system. Anyway, this is a bunch of uh, uh, techno garble. What I wanted to say to the Marshall people is that, instead of bragging about myself, about how awesome I am. Um, you know, so you don't really need to have fucking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten versions of basically the same shit. Anybody who's going to buy one of these that wants to set it on their desk is just going to want a nice good one. Okay? There's a gazillion little bitty speakers out there that are cheap, like the UE Boom. The UE Boom is great. There's that you can you can't hardly walk through a Walmart or a Sam's or whatever without somebody knocking you in the head with one of those things. And they're cheap. The people who buy these are well are guys like me who are, who can afford a couple of bucks. To, to spend on something nice. But I don't want to kill myself with too many options. Oh, should I get the 15 watt or the 20 watt or the 30 watt or the 40 watt or the 50 watt? Or, uh, should it be... I mean, look at this thing. It, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fucking half inch bigger. What's the point of that? You, you, you are costing yourselves as a, customer, as, a, as a company and me as a customer valuable design and R&D dollars wasting time uh, adjusting the, the slight little differences. This is a whole different jig that you're routering out and gluing and pressing this piece of wood and wrapping. And it's just, you know, there's really no point in it. I would eliminate, if I were you, Stan Moore, Acton, and Kilborn. I'd get rid of all three of those and then make one unit that is a nice combination between the Acton and the Stan Moore that, and the Kilborn also. All four of them get, and you know, the Stockwell I get is a, is a cheaper, small, thin plastic piece of shit. That's fine. You, you can sell that to your hipster kids. They're going to put that in their backpack and try to look cool when they're, when they're at school, whatever. That's a different ball game. But as far as these wooden ones, really all you need to have, I think the Woburn should be an AC powered only home unit that is in stereo, you know, just like it is 50 watt multi-room, just the way it is, is great. But I would, if I were you as a company, I'd ditch the Acton, the Stanmore, the Kilborn, and get rid of all of those, and then make one unit that is a nice combo between the Acton and the Stanmore. You know, single speaker, um, you know, whatever the nice, uh, maybe you can't, and here's what I'm leading up to, it should have the battery in it. I think maybe the battery can't really run the 50 watt, so go with the 30 watt unit, not 15. Go with the 30 watt unit and put a big fucking battery in it. Who cares how much it weighs? You know, like, I, I, you know, I, I'm sure that there was some kind of research and development where they, they did some kind of R&D and they said, well, I think people think this is just a little too big, just a little too heavy. We just need to get it just a little bit smaller and uh, we need to shave just a little bit of this and we're going to put half as much power into it so that the battery lasts longer. I'm not going to listen to this thing for 20 fucking hours. Okay. I would rather have 10 hours at 30 watts than 20 hours at 15 watts. I would rather have 5 hours at 50 watts 
Because I'm only going to play it for maybe an hour or two. Tops. Nobody listens to this thing for 20 hours. Right? It's just not going to happen. Nobody does that. If they're going to be in one spot for that long, they'll plug it in. So my, And here's the other thing. Um, you could shave off, as an engineer, I'm telling you, you could shave off a ton of weight by, instead of having an AC plug that then has a DC converter transformer in there, ditch that, put a wall wart with it, and with the wall wart, you take that weight out of the box, you take the transformer out of the box, and you put it in the plug, and use that adapter as a direct DC without AC conversion. You're going to shave all that off. You're going to save that weight. Okay, and that'll make up for putting in an extra cell, an extra battery cell. So in other words, take something like uh, the Acton, maybe make it into a stand more or, or fit this, the stand mores amp into this. And then instead of using, um, you know, the three larger C cells, put in uh, a row of the double A cells. Uh, which take up less space and you know don't worry about trying to squeeze 20 hours out of it I don't need 20 hours I don't care about that what I want is performance I'd rather have like I said a minute ago I would much much rather have five hours of kick-ass 50 watt performance than 20 hours of shitty 15 watt performance and I'm not saying it's shitty the thing sounds great but would I rather it was 30 watts like this one or would I rather it was 50 watts like the, the Stanmore? Fuck yeah! If I could get the Stanmore multi-room battery powered with the handle on it, you're like, oh, it's too heavy. Anybody buying this can lift it. My wife's 5'2". She's a personal trainer. She benches like 130 pounds. You know what I mean? I'll be able to carry it. If I could carry this and this. I mean, I haven't weighed them, and I could probably look up the weight. It's not that... Actually, this thing's lighter than this one because it doesn't have the battery pack. And it's bigger. So that's what I want. As a customer, feel free to contact me, Marshall. Marshall, please contact me, and I would love to be a beta tester for you. Send me your speakers. Let me review them. Let me check them out, and let me uh, uh, do engineering tests on them. Um, and, and I will use them in a real-world scenario and give you some great feedback. You're probably paying research and marketing companies a ton of money, and I can do it for you for free. You send me a speaker. Right? Give me a gosh darn two, three hundred dollar speaker, and you'll get a million dollars worth of research. So um, that's this is my advice. So if you're looking for one of these, I'm going to suggest that if you want a Kilborn uh, or the Acton or whatever, probably buy it on the secondary market. These are going to be flooded on eBay and whatnot in in no time at all, because everyone is going to want to now buy the new multi room version. And because uh, I know that I am, and as soon as I decide to go ahead and get a multi-room, Kilburn and Stanmore, whatever, then I'll be offering these up for sale. Uh, and, um, you know, and I'll put them on eBay. Now, I'm somebody who keeps the box and makes sure everything is taken care of and it's all perfect and nice. But a lot of the used of these I've seen, like I said, they're always really beat to shit. They're, they don't travel well. But that's not a knock. I'm not, I'm not complaining. I'm not saying that it's a bad piece of equipment. But listen, there's certain things that you're not supposed to carry with you. You know, like you don't take your little jewelry box around with you. You know, you, 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 it stays on your dresser. And that's what these are made for. You know, just like the new iPhone X uh, 10 that came out, people are complaining how they, 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 they're dropping it and breaking it. I go, it's a glass phone. What did you think was going to happen? I'm like, it's a supercomputer made of glass, you know? Put it in a protective case, for crying out loud. I mean, I wouldn't take my MacBook 17 Pro and just carry it around, like, ta -da -da -da, I'm walking around with my aluminum computer. Whoops, I dropped it. Oh, shit, it broke. No kidding. You know, like these Apple displays here, they're made of glass. You drop it, it's going to break. People are stupid. So these are meant to be taken care of. Don't, you know, even though it's portable, it's portable for, so that you can take it from your bedroom to your kitchen. That's it. <laughs> and they're solving that problem by uh, making the multi-room package. I can't wait to get those. And the Woburn, is, according to this, is coming soon. I really want one of those. That thing just looks 
badass. Hey, Marshall, here, you know what would be really cool? Like for the wool burn? It's too late now. But if you had made it a slant stack, god damn, that would have been badass. You know? Or if you had built it so that the bottom of it looked like the speaker and then the top of it looked like an amp head with the connectors on, on the front, sort of like a, those Marshall refrigerators I've seen. Make it like that. That would be badass to literally make it look like a little practice amp, which would be great. And when you think about it, you can go buy a Marshall practice amp, a little small guitar amp that's got a, you know, eight inch woofer in it for, you know, like 200 bucks. You just plug your iPhone into it and it's the same shit. Anyway, uh, it doesn't have the same frequency response. These have tweeters and all kinds of processing that a regular guitar amp would not have. So that wouldn't work out very well. If you plug your iPhone into a Marshall stack, it would sound like dog shit because uh, they're meant to just play um, guitar. Anyway, sorry for the crazy 30-minute review. If you stuck with me all the way through this thing, you are a hardcore Video Bob fan. Please like, subscribe, share. I'm glad that you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed telling you about it. Uh, and, you know, I know that this video is not going to get that many views, but this is a passion. This is, I'm doing this not for the money. I'm doing it because I love Marshall. I love these speakers and I love you. So I'm Video Bob. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys as soon as I get the, the new versions and I'll be reviewing those too. Thanks a lot. Marshall, send me some speakers. God damn it. Bye.